morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is the 28th of December and I'm currently in the Algarve in Portugal. I'm visiting my family for Christmas and I thought I would do a little vlog so that I can show you guys like the area where I grew up in because it's very nice here. I'm currently on vacation so I took a couple of days off and today I wanted to build a learning plan of some things that I want to get into um, over the next couple of months and besides that I'm also going to work on my schedule. So I do like to have like a Google Calendar where I put in my working times, uh, times for meals, times when I'm planning on going to the gym and you know times for like doing social media or for like filming YouTube videos. I feel like I need to be very organized in order to do everything that I want to do. So that's what the video is going to be about and yeah I hope you enjoy it. Just got dressed this is the outfit for today. Hola! Oui! This is Kimba. She's my parents' dog. So as you guys saw I did some journaling and I did a to-do list for today. I'm gonna do some personal emails and then also have to uh, check Etsy emails. So if you don't know Etsy is an automated trading journal that I built with friends of mine uh, a while ago while I was learning how to code. And yeah, we just kind of still maintain it today. Etsy emails are done. I'm just gonna get some water and then I'm gonna start the learning plan. So this is what I mean by scheduling your day and using a calendar. Uh, this is how I usually do it. Uh, don't freak out about these times. Um, this is an old calendar. I don't follow this anymore. This is from when I was learning how to code. Basically I would put in everything including meals and like commute time and reading time. I like to for example read in the mornings on the weekend and I made sure to put that in my calendar. I wouldn't always follow the calendar 100% obviously, um, like you have to remain flexible and you know keep an open mind. Obviously sometimes you want to go out with friends or you have like work events or you have to you know work uh, more hours, you have to stay in the office longer, whatever. Like obviously you have to do what you have to do, right? So you don't have to follow this like 100%, but even if you only follow it by like 60 or 70%, that still beats 0%, right? So if you want to do something after work, if you want to develop a certain skill, or even if it's just like spending time with family, with kids, you can put that in your calendar and make sure that there is time for these things. So this is my way of prioritizing uh, certain things that I want to do and accomplish. And I feel like this um, has made a major contribution uh, during my coding journey. I can highly recommend using an approach like this. Thank you. 
So I had lunch with my parents and we were outside for a little bit just chatting and chilling in case any of you guys uh, are thinking about setting up a calendar as well. If it's a simple calendar, you will eventually remember um, all the times and the tasks. If it's more complicated, you can just download the Google Calendar app uh, and just check it on your phone. That's what I usually do. So I had dinner and after dinner I watched The Social Network with my sister. She had never seen the movie and now I'm back in my room and I'm gonna get ready to go to sleep. I'm gonna end this uh, little vlog here. If you enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!